Happy Saturday, everyone! It is Kyle of Variety and Airs, and this is a very awesome uh, video that I'm ready to have been ready to do for a while. So, uh, a lot of people always ask me where I get all my coins and my bills and stuff like that from, and it's pretty simple, really. I just go to my local banking institution. So, let's talk about what I find there. Um, so, for example, what's really cool and why it kind of sparked me making this video now is I was talking to Dustin over at CoinOp. Uh, who's a good buddy of mine, and uh, I help him out with a lot of his uh, publicity and public relations type stuff for uh, CoinOp, uh, but he does a wonderful job over there of, of all the information and, and lessons that he teaches about coins, um, on top of just building the coin community and the currency community like I try to do. Um, so one cool thing is, is that I found clads. So I went up to the teller and I usually go in there. I go to a menagerie of banks, so it's not just the one that I bank at. I use Bank of America and BB&T uh, for my business account. And I always go around, but I get a lot of checks from clients and stuff for my work. So I either, if it's written out to me or them, it doesn't really matter, or I'll, or I'll have to work at different banks. So um, I go to a lot of different banks. PNC seems to be the one that I, or Wells Fargo also. I find a lot of really good stuff, but the other day I got done doing a tree removal job and I went down to PNC to cash the check and I went in and they, you know, of course ask you how you want your, your currency back and um, I just simply ask them, you know, hey, in the, in the safe that you have in the back, because what a lot of people don't know is that the bank, older red seals and silver certificates and stuff like that or if they have any bills that are damaged, like miscuts or misalignments, or just a damage bill, but like error bills, um, as well as odd coin currency, like Ike dollars, like Liberty dollars, like uh, Susan B. Anthony coins, and stuff like that. They, um, they keep those, and then usually like once a week or whatever it is, depending on the bank, they send those back off. So, and then they get their money replaced, you know, in the next shipment of bills or whatever that comes to them. So, if you're lucky enough, you can ask the teller, uh, basically, hey, you know, do you have any kind of oddball currency that's not the normal uh, variation of currency that you use on a day-to-day -day basis? And they'll generally give it to you. I mean, it's, it, it's legal tender, so, of course, they'll trade it out. Um, so, I just go up there with some 1s, 5s, 20s, whatever I have. Or if it's at Bank of America or BB&T where I bank. Then I, then I just, you know, make a withdrawal, basically, and, and get them to give it back to me and whatever. So, without me yammering on, uh, one cool thing, so I went up there and I said, hey, man, you know, do you have any, uh, do you have any uh, oddball coins or currency, $2 bills, whatever? And he said, oh, yeah, hell yeah. And when opened up the safe and their little mini safe under the, uh, the car window thing, the pull-up window, and he comes back and written on the paper for these half dollars uh, in the in the roll where it says 65 to 69 clad, which I, I mean, you know, I was like, oh, crap, you know, hopefully it really is that. And so I open up the roll and sure enough, it is all 40 percent silver clads. So cool thing about this is, you know, this is basically 20 bucks, 20, whatever it is, um, 25 dollars in in. Uh, Kennedy half dollars um, and what's cool about that is from 65 to 69 they were 40 percent silver so you can actually melt these down if you wanted to the meltdown value of say this would be roughly 25 uh, dollars above the value so I mean I would have probably about 45 50 bucks in silver um, so that's pretty cool Anything pre-65 on those is going to be 90% silver. Now, there are some oddballs, like in 71, they did have, and I believe there's another date, correct me or comment about it if you know, uh, just to remember off the top of my head, uh, but there is another date that they used essentially the 40% clads from 65 to 69, and also a variance of where they used the pre-65 um, uh, ninety percent silver version to uh, make the coins. So those are oddball errors that aren't really common, um, but it is it is an error and something to look out for. I'll have a video on going through halves. I mean these right here. I'll comment a little bit about them in that video, but that's what this video is about. Um, outside of that, I get a lot of stuff. You know, you had some cool stuff like uh, Susan B. Anthony dollars or Liberty dollars or whatever. Um, 
you know, so that's cool. And uh, I get a lot of dollar gold coins. I don't really collect those, but I like to look for errors on them and stuff like that, mainly edge lettering errors and stuff like that or double dies. Um, but you can also come a lot of, come across a lot of old wheat cents and stuff if you collect Lincoln cents. Um, those are always fun and easy to come across. Um, not necessarily a really, you know, super uh, rare one necessarily, but you might find one in your pocket change. Um, but check out CoinOp. Uh, Dustin's channel is really awesome on learning anything about coins. I do more of the paper money, but this is just really cool, and it kind of coincides with precious metals, which is what I which is what I cover. Uh, so 40% silver coins is always freaking cool with me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Please comment below what you have found. I want to start talking about that or join our CoinOp Facebook group. I have a link to that in every description of every video I've ever done. Um, definitely join it. We have thousands and thousands of collectors in our in our group. Uh, it's really helpful. Everybody is awesome. You can post what you find or something you think you found or just questions, and I guarantee you within minutes it's going to get answered. Um, if you also just want to check out videos on coins, then check out CoinOp because Dustin has, I mean, hundreds of videos that are that are really awesome. So check that out. And start hitting up those banks because they got the money, and money is awesome, and uh, everybody knows cash is king. So go get out there and hunt for some cool stuff, and let me know what you find. I'd love to hear about it. Have an awesome, awesome day, and talk to you later. See ya.